My name is Kaylee and I'm studying physics at the University of Chicago. My name is Leif Holm. Uh, I'm a graduate student here working on experimental atomic physics. And I'm studying neutrino and cosmic ray physics at the University of Chicago. My name is Zohair Doctor and I study gravitational physics at University of Chicago. We are proud that in Chicago, we do all of our physics, connecting across the scales of length and time. Our university provides a unique department institute structure which to put uh, research from different uh, departments together in one institute, okay, which offer uh, ample opportunity to kind of encourage or to enhance interdisciplinary research. The Chin Lab has several experiments. Um, all of them use the sort of versatility provided by ultra-cold atoms. My research involves uh, atoms living in an optical lattice and the goal of my research is to be able to use what are known as optical tweezers to sort of move these atoms around and sort of build up atom by atom uh, very interesting systems that can exhibit interesting properties. I study now equilibrium dynamics using ultra-cold atoms and we're investigating the uh, interesting physics of exploding boson condensates where atoms suddenly burst into jets just like fireworks. From this system, we actually discover a whole series of very interesting quantum phenomena. Okay? And uh, these phenomena offer fascinating connections okay, to other kind of uh, phenomena people study in materials, in nuclear physics, and even in cosmology. Okay? So my work has been contemplating on the underlying connection between the, di the dynamics of these atoms to the fundamental working principle of the other phenomena people study in nature. I love being at the University of Chicago because there's so many people here and they're all doing so many different things and I get to sort of talk to all of them because everyone's got their doors left open and everyone's really friendly and we also have, in the Beery Lab specifically, we have a lot of different experiments that are at a lot of different places so I've been able to travel. We've got things in Greenland, Antarctica and uh, California which is really a lot of fun. One of the experiments I work on is at the South Pole. It's called the Ascarian Radio Array. And what we're doing is we're building a set of radio detectors, so basically a bunch of radio antennas that are stuck in holes below the ice to look for neutrinos interacting in the ice. So when they come to Antarctica, they slam into the Antarctic continent, they make a spark of radio waves and we look for them. This year our group has been studying neutron star mergers in particular because we just discovered a neutron star merger with the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory and Virgo in Italy. This was kind of our big step. Uh, we've been talking for years about multi-messenger astronomy where we would get, uh, we'd get to observe something both in gravity and in light, and, and now we've done it. Uh, this is only the very first. We're learning about how the gold in the universe is made. Uh, we're coming up with new ways to measure the scale of the universe. All these things, we've just started to be able to do it with this first event, uh, but uh, you know, we're gonna see a lot more. Uh, there's going to be a lot more science. It's, it's going to be fantastic. It's great to study at the University of Chicago because when you're doing science here, you're not just studying your problem. You get to interact with faculty, postdocs, grad students, and the undergrads in both teaching and learning situations, which I really think it's this glut of experiences that spurs your growth professionally and personally. We have a few projects related to topology and 3D. One where we're investigating how knotted fields decay when generated by vortex flows, and another in which we're colliding vortices and seeing what kind of turbulent flows they might generate. We also are interested in uh, this kind of topology in 2D, where we have a system of millions of microscopic magnetic colloids, which we spin up, and then they aggregate and act like a fluid. The University of Chicago offers uh, exquisite less space for us to perform the kind of frontier research Okay. And uh, in addition to that, okay, we also had a long history attracting the top um, diversified young talents all over the world. Okay. And uh, we work hard, okay, but not because uh, the pressure upon the, uh, from the professors, okay, but because the students realize this unique opportunity, okay, they can explore the unknown and also to realize their dream. Okay. And uh, so we encourage innovation, Okay. and um, uh, encourage them to try to identify, to look for new physics, okay, new phenomena that can occur in our lab. I think it's really amazing that I have the opportunity to learn about neutrinos and physics from some of the brightest minds in the country and in the world. There's just a rich community here of people and a lot of interactions that happen in that community. The University of Chicago is a really 
sort of ideal place for like a scientist to uh, learn and grow um, and develop. It's been a really positive experience so far and I'm really looking forward to the future.